Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a nice little tool to be able to view your logs from all of your parts in your Kubernetes cluster. All right, so normally what you would do is uh, kubectl logs and uh, for a part, for a particular part, and especially for a particular container, if you've got multiple containers in a part. So it comes in handy if you want to um, look at the logs of multiple parts at the same time in a single window. So there are lots of different tools um, of which I'm gonna show you one such tool. It's a, it's a nice little tool called Kale for Kubernetes tail. So that's what we're gonna be looking at in this video. And there are a few other um, tools that, that does similar operation uh, in terms of feature, uh, in terms of looking at the logs from multiple parts in your cluster. So uh, at the end of this video, I will show you what other tools that you can actually use, but I haven't uh, got a chance to try those tools yet. Uh, but this one that I'm gonna show you today, I think um, I've tried it and it looks simple and it's functional. So I'm gonna stick with this one. All right, so let me bring up my browser and uh, the, uh, the tool is Kale. So I'm gonna search for Kubernetes Kale. Okay, there it is. So we've got Kubernetes Kale. I don't know, there's two repositories here. So if you go to Boz uh, Kale, so there is 1.1 K star. If I go back and look at this one, that's zero star. So probably it's this one here. All right, so Kubernetes tail, kale. So what we are going to do is we're gonna download the release. So if I go to tags, the latest tag is 0 0.15.0, which you can see here. So basically I'm gonna be using the latest tag as of recording this video, which is 0 0.15.0. And the one that I'm gonna download is this one, 7.92 meg Linux. Okay, copy the link address, open a terminal, and wget, paste that link. Okay, so uh, once this is done, we're gonna be setting the executable permission on it. So do, sorry, change mode, plus x, kale, and then move this to, sorry, I did it wrong, so whatever it is. Okay, ignore that, we first need to extract it. Okay, that's done, and we've got kale here, so I'm gonna move that to sudo move, kale to user local bin and I don't need this uh, these files here so I'm gonna delete everything yep all right cool so which kale so we've got that in uh, user local bin so we should be ready to go so I've got my kubernetes cluster up and running it's running in the uh, in Alexi containers Alexi list so that's my master and two worker nodes kubectl version minus minus shot so i've got uh the version 1.18.5 kubectl cluster info so api server is running kubectl get nodes one master node two worker nodes all of them are centos 7 lxe containers running 1.18.5 version of kubernetes kubectl um, get nodes okay so that's all done so i've got this uh, kubernetes cluster, cluster which i'm going to play with um, say for example the easiest way to run kale is if you just type in kale uh, it's not showing me anything so it's supposed to show the logs from all the parts running in my cluster at the moment so if i look at all the parts running in my cluster kubectl get parts minus minus all namespaces. So those are the parts that are running. So it's a brand new cluster. I haven't got any custom uh, workloads or custom containers. So all of these containers, all of these parts are basically the uh, the system parts from the cube system namespace. So at the moment all of these parts are uh, idle. So it's not actually outputting anything to the uh, log. So that's why when you run kale, uh, you're not seeing anything all right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to launch a simple Nginx container and then uh, see the logs uh, from the Kale window. Okay, I'm going to open up another terminal. Let's have two terminals side by side. And here I'm going to run Kale. Okay, and here I'm going to launch uh, an Nginx container. kubectl create deploy nginx minus minus image nginx that's done kubectl get all okay that part is getting created kubectl get all still container is getting created kubectl 
get all okay so the container is running nginx container is running by default it doesn't uh, output anything to the logs so let's try and access this container kubectl uh, let's do a port forward nginx container 8080 colon 80 okay so uh, that's not found port forward nginx sorry kubectl port forward nginx 8080 colon 80 i'm going to send that to background okay so we've got that and if i do curl minus i or curl minus yes localhost colon 8080 and there we go we've got the entry here so kale uh, grab the log from this nginx pod and we can see the nginx welcome page so and if i do dev now okay so basically when we access it we get the logs here all right so that's cool and if i go back here control c kale minus minus help so what options can you pass to kale so by default if you run just kale on its own it's going to uh, show you logs from all the pods running on all the namespaces in your cluster so it's going to be uh, all pods entire pods in your cluster so which usually won't you won't be doing right so in a cluster say for example in your cluster you've got hundreds of pods or maybe thousands of pods and running the scale command on an active cluster it's going to scroll through i'm not sure whether it will scale um, or it will hang or crash or something but uh anyways you won't be doing that so that's just an example to show you that simple kale command uh, can show you logs from all the pods in your running cluster but what you actually want to do uh, is you can specify the pod, the exact pod that you want. So with minus P option, kale minus P, nginx. So what's the name of the pod? kubectl get pods. So it's this one here. And if I do paste that, so that's going to be the container. That's going to be the logs from the a particular pod. Okay, so it's not showing when you do kale, it's kind of like tail minus f Linux command. So it's not showing anything new because we're not actually accessing it. So if I do the curl command, you can see that. So that's from the a particular part. Okay, and what else? So you can look at uh, a pod wise or you can specify a namespace. For example, kubectl, sorry, kale minus n default. Okay, so that's going to show you uh, logs from all the pods running in the default namespace. So you can specify cube system, for example. Okay, so that's going to show all the logs from all the pods in the cube system namespace. And you can also specify uh, a service or a replica set, a replication controller, daemon set, a deployment name, and so on. All those things you can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start another container which will actively output some logs. Uh, the good example is an in, uh, is a Jenkins uh, container. So kubectl create deploy Jenkins minus minus image Jenkins. And here I'm going to run just kale on its own. And soon you will see uh, the entries, the log entries from the Jenkins part. kubectl get all so we've got the nginx container running we've got the jenkins pod uh, the container is getting created so once the container is created it's going to start up the jenkins service at which point it's going to throw a lot of logs uh, and we should be able to see that uh, from here all right so let's wait for the pod to run kubectl get pods container is still getting created Okay, kubectl, you can already see that there, uh, the, the logs are coming through. kubectl get pods, yep, Jenkins pod is running and you can see the, the logs here. All right, cool, so now we've got two pods here and we've got uh, the logs from the Jenkins pod. So I'm gonna, uh, okay, close the connection and we've got two pods. So as you know here, uh, we can use kale minus p nginx uh, pod so that's going to show logs from a particular pod and similarly you can uh, show minus p from the jenkins pod okay so all right so what if you want to uh, see the previous log entry so whenever you do kale it's going to show you the active logs but if you want to scroll back or if you want to 
uh, see logs from for the last five minutes for the last 10 minutes and so on you've got an option for that so kale minus minus help so minus minus since is the option that you want so you can specify options values like last five seconds last two minutes 1.5 hours last two hours and 45 minutes and so on so defaults to one second so that's why we are not seeing any actual um, entries here okay so now i can do kale minus n for example jenkins sorry not namespace kale minus p jenkins so it's not going to show anything because we don't have any active logs from the jenkins but if i say minus minus sense last five minutes and there you go so these are the logs from the jenkins pod for the last uh, since the last five minutes okay and similarly i can do kale minus p nginx minus minus since last one hour for example and you can see those are the logs from the nginx and i can do kale minus n default namespace minus minus since uh, two hours so again it's uh the logs from the jenkins part as well as from the nginx part okay so kale minus minus help what else we can do you can also specify the deployment name uh, if it's a cron job you can specify the job name and so on you can also specify the uh the label as the selector okay so let's do that kubectl get pods uh, minus minus show labels okay so i want to uh view i want to view the logs of all the parts with the label app equals nginx so at the moment we only have one part but if you've got different parts running in different namespaces and they all they all have the label app equals nginx then you should be able to view all of them in a single command like this scale uh, minus l app equals nginx okay so we won't be having any logs and if you pause minus minus since uh, last um, 15 minutes there we go so that's the uh, log from the nginx container which has the label app equals nginx similarly you can do kale minus l so we have for the jenkins the label app equals jenkins so app equals jenkins minus minus sends last 10 minutes so those are the logs from the jenkins part okay and one other useful thing that you might want to do is uh there is this minus minus node yeah minus minus node what if you want to look at the logs of all the parts running on a particular node Say for example, you've got uh, kubectl get nodes. You've got multiple nodes here. You know, there's a problem, some problem with uh, uh, the scale worker one node and that's caused by uh, some of the containers running in the pod. So what you can do is uh, kale minus n, uh, sorry, minus minus node, k worker one minus minus sense. Okay, let me first find out uh, what pods are running in which nodes kubectl get pods minus o wide so now we can see here uh jenkins is running on k worker one and nginx is running on k worker two so if i specify k worker one you should be able to see logs from the jenkins node but not from the nginx container okay so kale minus minus node k worker one minus minus since let's say last 20 minutes Okay, so those are the logs from the Jenkins pod, but not from the Nginx pod because it's running on a different node and we filtered it by uh, kworker1. So again, if I change that to kworker2, you see all the logs from all the pods running in kworker2. At the moment, we only have Nginx pod running on kworker2. All right, so kale minus minus help. So you can also specify the context if you've got multiple Kubernetes cluster. If you're connected to multiple Kubernetes cluster, you can specify the context uh node name uh deployment so we can choose the deploy kubectl get deploy so we have two deployment nginx and jenkins kale uh, minus minus deploy jenkins minus minus since the last 15 minutes cool so that's the logs from the jenkins part and if i say minus minus deploy nginx that's the logs from the nginx container kale minus minus help all right so these are the uh, the different ways that you can use to uh, query the logs so this might come handy 
uh, for certain situations. Say for example, I've got, uh, I need to find out all the containers that has uh, some form of errors in the log file. So you know, uh, you are, you've deployed certain applications uh, in your cluster that's running on a, a wide variety of nodes and you want to find out which container is actually uh, is problematic so which container is actually showing some errors in the logs so for that you can do for example kale uh, and assume that you have deployed your application to a particular namespace so you can specify minus n whatever it is default and uh, if you just say kale minus n default and you know your uh, apps are labeled app equals uh, web or something and then so that's going to uh, monitor that's going to show you all the logs of all the parts uh, that has app equals web label attached to it and it's running in the default namespace and maybe you can know if you know what error you're actually looking at you can pipe that to grep and whatever error it is so let's say connection refuse so this it's an easy way to find instead of uh, instead of going through and hunting through each of the parts logs manually using kubectl command this is a simple command that you can use uh, to query multiple uh, connections sorry multiple uh, parts for the uh, for the logs okay let me check if i've got anything else to show here kale minus minus help okay and minus minus current namespace if whatever namespace you are in and if you want to search uh, for the logs of all the parts only in the current namespace you can use this option and if you've got multiple uh, containers in a pod and if you want to target a specific container you can specify using the minus container option all right and there is also uh, an ignore field if you want to ignore certain parts for example if you just type in kale and if you want to ignore all the uh, uh, parts that have certain labels and so on you can do that okay so that's scale that's working fine uh, that's more than enough for me for my use case but if you want to explore uh, other options what you can do is there are a few other tools that I know but haven't actually tried using it so one such thing is uh, called stern stern kubernetes multi part and container log tailing all right so uh, the latest release is 1.11.0 installation it's just as uh, simple as you need to have go install and then you can follow this to install uh, or you can just download the binary directly i would prefer this way i don't want to install go on any other runtime so i can just uh, download the binary put it in user local bin and then start using it so you can use turn minus minus help similarly you've got the minus minus since option uh, namespace exclude uh, it has also uh, the color option you can uh, do a color coding so you'll be it will give you an easy way of uh, visualizing your logs from multiple different parts say in here we've got kale minus minus since uh, last one hour so there is no color coding here um, it is from the different logs this one is from the nginx part this one is from the jenkins part but there's no clear differentiation between different parts, but this one seems to have this option here, minus minus color. And there's also an option to output in a different format, uh, raw format, JSON format, and so on. So that's uh, stern. So I'm gonna leave that with you to try it. I'm not going to try this. Uh, it has got more features, more uh, useful features, but for my use case, I find uh, kale more than sufficient. So there's another thing called kubetail. Um, I don't know which one it is. So let's try this one, 1 1.9K star. This one is one star. So probably it's this one, Johan Halaby. Okay, so that's again very similar to uh, kale. So this one is kubetail. Right, so give these uh, tools a try and let me know if you've got any questions. I'll be happy to help. Right, hope you found this video useful and please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.